Welcome to Indian Laboratories Forum. Now we are learning about Clause 8.3 of ISO IEC 17025, 2017. General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories. Hope you have learned up to Clause 8.2. If not, please refer our previous videos. Clause 8.3, Control of Management System Documents The laboratory shall control the documents, internal and external, that relate to the fulfillment of this document. Laboratory has to control the internally generated documents, such as standard operating procedures, equipment procedures, management system procedures, quality manual, forms, templates, formats, etc and also external documents, such as customer-supplied methods, standard methods, etc. The laboratory shall ensure that documents are approved for adequacy prior to issue by authorized personnel. Before going to release the document for regular usage, documents should be reviewed and authorized by the competent personnel, with those who is having knowledge and expertise with relevant background. Documents are periodically reviewed and updated as necessary. All the management system documents should be periodically reviewed. Periodicity may vary from organization to organization. Some labs may have six months periodicity. Some labs may have three years and more. It is depends on the criticality of operations and impact on the quality of results. Laboratory also should be reviewed whenever it is required and revise the documents if required and update the documents for regular usage, by providing the access to the employees. Changes and the current revision status of documents are identified. Version control should be implemented and all the changes should be identified when the document is revised. Relevant versions of applicable documents are available at points of use and, where necessary, their distribution is controlled. All the employees should have the controlled access to current version of documents for performing specific tasks. Documents are uniquely identified. The unintended use of obsolete documents is prevented, and suitable identification is applied to them if they are retained for any purpose. Take away from Clause 8.3 Laboratory should control the internal and external documents. Laboratory should use only reviewed and authorized documents and records. All the management system documents should be periodically reviewed. Documents should be identified with versions, changes, and its distribution should be controlled. Obsolete documents should be removed from the place of use, and those should be retained. Examples of non-conformances as per Clause 8.3 Laboratory has not controlled the external documents before issuing. Laboratory is not reviewing the documents periodically and not ensuring the documents are continually suitable for regular laboratory operations. Laboratory is not retaining the obsolete documents for knowledge and legal purpose. Changes made in the revised procedures are unable to identify. Hope you enjoyed learning about the requirement of Clause 8.3 of ISO IEC 17025 2017 and examples of non-conformances as per Clause 8.3. Please like, subscribe and click on bell icon for regular updates. Thank you. Happy learning!